Hi, my name is Jacob Glenn, and I'm a senior at Decatur High School, and I just wanted to come on here and uh, share with you all a little bit of uh, what God has been teaching me in my life. So, a little bit of context. context uh, back a couple months ago in Sunday school, uh, we've been going through the books of the Bible, and we ended up coming up on Ruth, and I had not heard the story of Ruth in a long time. And, like, I could barely remember it, so... We ended up going through it, and I feel like this book is a little bit, is kind of not spoken about that much in church, as I've not, and I had not heard it in a, in a long time. So I just wanted to come on here and tell you all a little bit of what I have learned through the book of Ruth. So it starts out with a woman named Naomi, and Naomi has a husband and two sons. And these two sons end up getting married, and one of these ladies that the sons end up marrying is Ruth and later while they are living in Bethlehem currently they're in Bethlehem they are Naomi's husband and both of his uh, both of their sons both of her sons end up dying and Naomi is is so heartbroken and uh, feels like God is kind of punishing her or not being kind to her in in this way but she ends so she ends up going to Israel and and it's and it's awesome because Ruth ends up staying with Naomi because she is loyal to Naomi even though her husband is dead is is loyal to Naomi goes to Israel where it would be hard to live because being a woman and alone and alone in Israel is not would not be the best situation so as Ruth is being loyal they are in Excuse me, they were in uh, Israel now, and one day Ruth is looking for food for her and Naomi, and she wanders into this uh, man's cornfield, and she is uh, just uh, getting some corn, while Boaz, uh, who is the man that owns the cornfield, uh, comes up and and he generously gives her food after she he has told after Ruth has told him about her story and. Uh, Boaz is very faithful to uh, what God says and is very generous to Ruth and Ruth ends up going back to Naomi and tells Naomi about all that has happened with Boaz and Naomi is just ec ecstatic because it turns out Boaz is supposed to be their family redeemer or their kinsman redeemer which means that he is to restore their family and save their lineage so Ruth is continually faithful and loyal to Naomi. So Ruth goes uh, and just talks to Boaz out in the field and she meets him and she, she just tells him straight up and she's like, I, I've been faithful to Naomi and I would like to marry you to help save her family. And, she's, and, and it's all out of faithfulness and loyalty and being bold and going to, and talking to Boaz and Boaz simply just says that he will marry her and this sign of loyalty and faithfulness leads to Boaz and Ruth having a child and that child happens to be the grandfather of King David which is in the lineage of God of of Jesus sorry. so out of all of this time that this tragedy that has happened to Naomi and to Ruth with her husband and Naomi's husband and two sons dying, God has been working. God has been looking over them, even in the tiny little things like going into a cornfield and just if she would have gone into a different cornfield, she might this might not have happened at all. She may have never met Boaz. So even in and and in Naomi going to just moving to Israel, back to Israel God is watching over them through all of this time, through through every little detail. And I just wanted to share this because in this time of simply just COVID-19, right, that you may not know why this things are happening to you. Uh, things might be tough right now. But it is very important to know that God is still working. God is still watching over us and that all the little things that happen in, happen in your life, they, they happen for a reason. 
And if you are faithful to God, then he will watch over us. So I wanted to read a quick verse, Romans 8, 28, which says, And we know for those who love God and all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. So through all of your just normal life, right? All of you just going to school or you're going to work and you might think this is just so insignificant god is still watching over us and he's working through our everyday lives and even through ruth and boaz and naomi through naomi's tragedy which ended up having to be a sign of restoration for her family with ruth and boaz and Ruth's loyalty and boldness to help help Naomi and restore her family and Boaz's loyalty to Ruth because of what Ruth has done for Naomi uh, it ended up happening to be the grand they ended up having uh, the grandfather of King David which was in the line of Jesus so uh, that has just been on my heart and I just wanted to share that with y'all so if you have made it this far, thank you for watching and God bless you.